Hey guys, what's up? Demon Doc here doing a video on the dark because uh, I need to buy a new light bulb anyway. Um, so, this is part two of me um, criticizing the rock band Trapped. Rock, rock band. Because uh, last video uh, when I said rock, sounded like I said pop. Don't know why I fucking hate my voice anyway. So, uh, we're making fun of um, how Chris Taylor Brown, the lead singer of that band, of course, how he thinks he's, uh, you know, um, swimming in popularity. He, um, so first he started with, um, Arguing, uh, he started arguing with Captain America, Chris Evans, of course, about uh, Trump's uh, response to the COVID and all that stuff. And then, you know, he, um, and then one thing leading to another, uh, he later fought with other bands. Metalcore bands, um, also a thrash band, a uh, power trip. And so uh, the argument, how he was defending himself, uh, was uh, his numbers in Spotify that he was getting, that they were getting streamed, that Trapped was getting streamed a lot in Spotify. And, and all that, and uh, then, you know, people were like, yeah, and look at your concerts, and then they showed a uh, comparison, like, uh, how uh, the crowd was in a power trip uh, performance, and how the crowd was at a uh, trapped performance. And, you know, you go to a trapped concert, you're going to find uh, a very small number of people. And also, if they were in a festival or whatever, um, there will be uh, really sm a very small amount of people watching them. They're what? They're in the Bud Light stage and all that. They have Bud Light in the background instead of uh, their their band logo. <laughs> and you know, you have just a few Yahoos uh, with. Uh, with a plastic cup of uh, draft beer. And yeah, trapped. Uh, look, no one knows, a, no one gives a shit about them. No one knows them. And if they got streamed a lot in Spotify, it was probably because of that uh, one hit wonder, Headstrong, which by the way is a shitty song. And, you know, I used to uh, kind of like it because of the um, chord or riff or whatever. I'm not a guitar expert. I don't know. In the beginning, the ding 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 But then, you know, when it gets soft and uh, Mr. Taylor Brown starts singing, it's already, meh, you know, kind of boring. And the chorus is cringy as hell. The music video is cringy as hell. Just a bunch of teenagers fighting uh, with adults, arguing with them. You have, you have one arguing with uh, the manager at a restaurant. You have another one arguing with his dad. And the others, I don't fucking know and don't fucking care. You know, they get angry. They're like, oh yeah, fuck this shit. And... And, you know, then they go rock out to trap, like, oh, yeah, I'm such a badass. That's strong, I'll take you on. You know, uh, really shitty, uh, really shitty, uh, you know, it's only songs that angsty teenagers listen to. You know, uh, that song, Headstrong, probably... And that rhyme, by the way, but yeah, Headstrong probably gets played in, uh, you know, rock and metal bars or some, well, no, not metal bars, but 
you know, bars where they play rock music that no one gives a shit about. Or, for example, the music that they play in the speakers uh, between the sets and the concert. You know, when the band finished playing, uh, performing, and then they're setting up the equipment for the next band. And you know how they always put music, they, they're always putting on music about, of bands that no one gives a shit about. That's in rock concerts, of course, uh, and obviously they'll put on Headstrong. No one, give, no one's gonna give a shit about that song. They're just gonna be waiting for the next band to play. And also, speaking of concerts, uh, yeah, if they're not concert opening for someone. I'm pretty sure that 90% of those concert goers will be outside having a beer and probably waiting for Nickelback or uh, Breaking Benjamin, Three Days Grace, or whoever the fuck. And yeah, it doesn't work like that. Only, uh, only on Spotify getting your one hit wonder um, played over and over and over. Yeah, on Spotify and Pandora. But uh, hey, guess what? Uh, the real money, the real recognition, it comes from uh, concerts, how much uh, albums you sold. Merchandise, how much merchandise and exposure and all that stuff that you're getting. And exposure isn't just from Spotify, let me tell you. And yes, Spotify, of course, uh, I mean, even though I don't like it, fuck Spotify, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, that's how bands are like, oh yeah, okay, we have fans in uh, Mexico, Brazil, Japan, and uh, Portugal, and whatnot, and that's probably, um, you know, countries where the, where, uh, and then, you know, seeing those countries that uh, people listen to them there, they're like, oh, okay, yeah, we can uh, go uh, tour uh, in those countries. But yeah, with you trapped, uh, no. It's only people in the U.S. that know you. You're pretty much only uh, streamed in the U.S. And if someone overseas knows about your music, it's probably because uh, you made a cameo appearance in that show, uh, Cheaters. Yeah. And look, I'll be honest about Trapped. Um, back when I was uh, pre-teen or whatever, uh, you know, like 11, 12, 13, 14, you know, those uh, ages that no one wants to go back to anymore. You know, because uh, quite frankly, they suck. I uh, I downloaded all the uh, rock songs that I like, that I heard in the radio. And of course, I had many bands in my MP3 player. Many bands where it was just one, one or two songs that I had of them or three at the most. And yeah, of course I had, my favorites were, I had like 21 songs in the MP3 and all that. You know, bands like uh, Evanescence, uh, Korn, um, Nickelback. Yes, I used to like Nickelback, don't judge me. But yeah, um, anyway, I'm not gonna waste time um, naming all of them. And of course, I have trapped just uh, that one hit wonder, Headstrong. And then uh, they had another single that came out in the radio. I liked it. It was called Sound Off. And to be honest, Sound Off actually does sound better than Headstrong. Headstrong is just generic uh, teen angst uh, type of song. But uh, Sound Off. You know, it had uh, some okay lyrics. Uh, song sounds pretty good. 
and the video was also nice, uh, really, you know, symbolic. There's prisoners and uh, the food that are getting fed is uh, like symbolism of uh, all the stuff in the U.S. You know, corporatism, uh, there's a businessman feeding them uh, asparagus that, uh, that looks like dollar bills. Then there's seafood soup with oil, you know, because of the oil spills. This was back when uh, the oil spills were the rage. Then they're getting served tomatoes with uh, bullets uh, on them, or of course, and then they get a cupcake that, you know, uh, says I voted, you know, because of politics and whatnot. That right there was a good video, uh, but, uh, you know, other than that, um, yeah, I don't really like Trapped, I don't care for them. And really, I find it so sad that Chris Taylor Brown has to do this and, you know, bring up uh, their numbers in Spotify, you know, just to look cool and all that stuff. And look, Power Trip, yeah, I know they're not uh, any ACDC or Slayer or anything. But hey, if they go to Vakin, they're going to have people there from other countries watching them. But with you trapped, it's only going to be a very small number of people. Um, and, you know, all of them are going to be people that listen to you guys in their hometown in the local radio. Listen to the one hit single. Yeah, Trapped, if you were to go to Vakin and perform there, it's probably going to be like two or three people watching. People that, um, okay, they actually ended up liking your music or they're like, yeah, let's see, let's see how this band is. Some people are going to, you know, turn their backs, keep drinking their beers, whatever, because you're probably going to be performing in uh, like an eating area or something. Sorry about that. Or, you know, people uh, not going to be watching at all or going to be saying like, Hey man, get off the stage. And yeah, let me tell you, Slater, for example, they're a band that for the mainstream audience, they're a one or two hit wonder, you know, because of Raining Blood and Angel of Death. But they have fans, metal fans that listen to their albums. They know about them, they know a lot about them, uh, and they're big fans. And they have concerts that are packed uh, where the lines go miles back. But yeah, uh, and believe me, Slater, uh, they already retired. They have every right to do that. And guess what? None of the members are. Uh, you know, being controversial in the internet. Sure, maybe Tom Arayak is, he's conservative, but at least, you know, he wasn't being a, a douche about it like you. And that's what my next video is going to be about. Okay, guys, so yeah, see you later.